Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start eighth lecture on corrosion and today we will talk about the thermodynamics. We will now start getting into the thermodynamics aspects of thermodynamics aspects of corrosion. Now, let us look at a cell, okay. one of the very popular cells is galvanic cell of copper, copper sulphate and zinc, zinc. Now, the cell structure is like this, if we have two container and in this container we have copper sulphate solution, in this container we have zinc sulphate solution and there we dip a copper plate and here we dip a zinc plate. So, this is zinc, this is copper. Now, in order to make it a complete cell, so we have to have a salt bridge. This is the salt bridge, the salt bridge what it does, it connects two cells, so that the charge transfer is possible between these two electrolytes, this copper sulphate and zinc sulphate both are electrolytes, it allows charge transfer. Now, the external circuit we can connect it by a wire and once we connect it we will see that current is flowing and this current flow would be in this direction. So, this is the current flow direction and once we have this complete cell, so that time the cell notation becomes like this. So, the complete cell notation would be copper zinc. So, these two are electrodes, so this is basically one electrode, this is another electrode. Now, for the time being uh, let us discontinue this external circuit. This discontinue this external circuit and now let us look at what is going on in the individual beaker. And in this beaker, if we carefully notice and this beaker if we uh, for example, let us say this is the beaker where we have copper sulphase and copper rod, this is copper sulphate and this is at a particular temperature pressure. Now, after some time if we try to connect it to a reference electrode. So, this reference is nothing but the reference electrode. And this reference electrode will be able to measure voltage. Now, if we use hydrogen reference electrode and that hydrogen reference electrode is maintained at 1 atmosphere pressure and 298 Kelvin temperature 
then that time that hydrogen electrode reference potential is considered to be 0. And then this with reference to this, if I measure this potential it shows something around some potential E 1. And if this copper sulphide copper is maintained activity of copper is 1, then this value would become 0 0.34 volt. Similarly, on the other side if we have zinc plate and this is zinc sulphate and if maintenance activity of zinc is maintained as 1, then after some time if we try to connect it to a reference electrode again. And if that reference electrode is happen is hydrogen reference electrode, then this potential it will also show some potential and that potential would be minus 0 0.76 volt. Now, question is uh, this is E 2, question is uh, this potential whether it is a reduction potential or oxidation potential. For this course round onwards, wherever, wherever we will talk about some potential unless it is not mentioned clearly, we will always talk about reduction potential. So, this is nothing but reduction potential. this is also reduction potential. Now, this reduction potential means we are measuring that potential consideration considering the fact that the reduction reaction is taking place. So, in this case the reduction reaction would be this is the reduction reaction and in this case so from this it is very clear since its potential reduction potential of this reaction is higher than the reduction potential of this reaction So, the reduction ability of this copper plus plus ion is more than the reduction ability of zinc plus plus ion. So, the statement what I am saying is reduction ability of copper plus plus is more than reduction ability of zinc plus plus. Once we have this situation, then if we again complete the circuit, it will show initially if we try to see the potential difference between these two, this potential difference would come as E 1 minus E 2 equal to 0 0.34 minus minus 0 0.76 equal to 1.1 volt. So, this is the voltage what the system would experience before any current flow. Once we start this current flow that means, once we short this entire circuit the reaction that would take place on the copper terminal and the zinc terminal would be decided by this and this, this potentials, reduction potentials. Now, let us see what is going on there. Cell, this is my salt bridge. This is zinc plate, 
this is zinc sulphate, this is copper sulphate, this is copper plate. So, now we have connected them, reactions are taking place and we have seen that reduction potential of this terminal is greater than reduction potential of this terminal. And since current is flowing, so this terminal becomes positive terminal and this terminal becomes negative terminal. Since we know that the electron flows, so current flows from positive to negative electrode. So, these are the sign of that two electrode. Now, what are the electrode reactions that are taking place? And on this side, since copper plus plus has got higher reduction ability, so this reduction reaction would take place. And in this case, since zinc has got zinc plus plus has got a lower reduction tendency, now we have electron acceptance reaction that means, in this case electron is consumed for this reaction. So, now the reduction reaction would not take place on the other electrode, because for this electron we have to have electron generation. And since the reduction ability of zinc plus plus is less than copper plus plus or other way around oxidation tendency of zinc plus plus zinc is higher than oxidation tendency of copper. So, the electron generation would start on the other electron where zinc would release two electron and it forms zinc plus plus ion. So, the zinc would dissolve in this electrode and copper would deposit on this electrode. So, now interestingly now let us see what is happening. So, we let us this is reduction and this is oxidation. So, if we add them we get this is the complete cell reaction. And again if we remove this part and if we remove this part again it is becoming redox. So, this redox reaction again is taking place and in that way we have a definite current flow and that current flow would be utilized for glowing a light. Now, interestingly as we see that the current flow is in this direction that is what we could fix the terminal, the sign of the terminal. Now, here electron is flowing opposite to the current flow and that is what should be. So, the electrons are generated on this electrode and these electrons are flowing through this and then it is coming towards the copper electrode and those two electrons will be consumed by this reduction process. So, now question is how the current flows through the electrolyte. So, now current enters into the electrolyte through the zinc surface. So, current enters in the electrolyte through the zinc electrode. Now, when current enters into the through the zinc electrode to the electrolyte that time what process is going on? This process is going on and this is what oxidation or corrosion. So, wherever corrosion is taking place remember that the current in that particular circuit enters through that metal rod or metal electrode into the electrolyte. So, that means whenever current enters into the electrolyte through the metal we have 
corrosion. Now, through the charge transfer, this this particular salt bridge will allow charge transfer. So, the through that particular salt bridge, the charge was, would go and the current would enter into the copper electrode from. So, this is one and second part is current enters copper electrode from electrolyte. So, what is going on on the other side cathodic reaction or reduction reaction and wherever current enters into the electrode from the electrolyte we do not get corrosion rather we are getting deposition and not any corrosion. These two concepts are the backbone of the concept of cathodic protection. So, in the cathodic protection actually we have to devise something, so that the, the rod or the metal structure what we want to protect the current should enter into that particular structure from the electrolyte to that system. So, that is the sole criteria, the sole criteria is this one for cathodic protection. So, the cathodic protection which is a basically a protection method from corrosion of any metal objects. So, the primary concept tip is we have to make sure that current enters into the metal structure what we want to protect from electrolyte. And remember wherever any system anything wherever the corrosion is taking place since it has electrochemical behavior in electrochemical nature and there should be a current flow and you would see that wherever current corrosion is taking place there the current is actually entering into the electrolyte from the metal. So, from this this is the concept of corrosion it talks about corrosion how to know that where the corrosion is taking place and this is the concept of cathodic protection. So, two concepts we would know from this. Now, we see that the potential difference E 2 minus E 1 E, sorry is basically E 1 minus E 2 we, since we are talking about reduction potential is 1.1 volt before we sort the circuit. Now, this volt is useful for doing some electrical work. Now, we can connect this electrical work with the free energy change and then that is the first step towards the consideration of thermodynamics in electrochemistry or for corrosion related aspects in our in our uh, the kind of thing what we are discussing. Now, let us see that part that how we can integrate free energy change with voltage difference. Now, this free energy change since we are talking about a system where we consider del G which is the free energy change Gibbs free energy change. when we do all the operations at one atmosphere. So, the pressure we are maintaining fixed and then we can consider Gibbs free energy 
we can have another free energy term which is called work function which is A that will come when there is a constant volume process, but in case of constant pressure process we generally have this kind of we consider Gibbs or the G. Now, before we talk about this relation, let us see independently what is going on in case of voltage difference and case of free energy difference. Now, there are two parts, one is electrical energy Let us say in a circuit, I supply Q amount of charge and the voltage is del E, then the amount of work electrical work would be Q del E. And let us say the situation the system is working reversibly, reversibly means uh, it is maintaining dynamic equilibrium. And remember reversibility does not mean that it should come back to its original position, uh, it has more to it. And for the time being let us consider the reversible process is a very, very slow process and every step is a very, very small infinitesimal steps, so that the dynamic equilibrium is maintained. Now, if we have some electrochemical reaction going on, let us say m n plus n e, this is the reduction reaction. And in this reduction reaction, for one mole of metal atom formation from metal ion, we need any number of electrons will be needed to convert one m n plus to m and we know 1 Faraday, 1 Faraday is basically the charge of 1 mole of electron. And so, how many charge we need to supply to get 1 mole of m would be equal to n f. So, this is the total charge for 1 mole of M formation. So, now electrical work becomes is equal to N F del so, this is the total charge which is Q or you can put it as Q. Now, this F we can find out from charge of electron which is nothing but 1.60 into 10 to the power I think 0 2 or something 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and n 0 which is an Avogadro number is 6.023 and 6 10 to the power 23. Now, then we have f equal to so, charge of 1 mole electron, so F equal to N 0 into 1.602 into minus 19, you will see that it will come 96483 something around that. So, this is write in, written as 96500. So, this is the value of 1 Faraday. Now, let us look at the other side. So, this is the amount of electrical work that would be available to do for available 
from a galvanic cell because in the galvanic cell we have chemical reactions which leads to a potential difference which will be useful for uh, electrical work. Now, on the other side if we consider a G relation with H minus T s this is a famous relation and then we can write it as U minus P V minus T s. Now, if I consider change in G is equal to del U minus P del V minus V del P minus T del S minus S del T, I can write this. Now, since it is a constant pressure process, pressure is constant, this goes to 0, temperature is constant, this goes to 0. So, temperature and pressure both are constant. So, we end up getting del U minus P del V minus T del S. From the first law of thermodynamics, we get del U equal to Q minus W. Now, in this case, this W is the total work. Now, let us say the system does mechanical work, which is against um, against some external pressure, the volume expansion against some external pressure. So, is basically the uh, mechanical work and also if it does electrical work. So, it has a two contribution. So, Q minus W prime plus W mechanical and W mechanical with this particular system can be also written as P d V. So, now we have del G equal to Q minus W prime this should be uh, sorry we made a great mistake here it should be positive it should be positive. So, uh, H is nothing but H equal to U plus P V. So, we made a mistake here. So, please correct it. So, now minus P del V plus P del V minus T del S and what is W prime? W prime is electrical work. Now, again these two are cancelling in case of when we have both the work. So, then it becomes del G equal to Q minus W prime minus T del S. Now, what is T del S term? Let us say the system is it is not specified whether the system is going on reversibly or irreversibly. Now, if the system goes on reversibly, so then Q reversible is nothing but T del S. And now, if the situation the, then we can write equal to Q minus W prime minus Q reversible. Now, if we maintain that reversibility, this Q also is nothing but reversible Q, reversible Q. So, in a system these two are same if it is happening reversibly. So, then we get to if we go to the next slide, we see that delta G equal to nothing but W prime and on the other side what we have received W prime which is electrical work is nothing but N f if we see this N f del E. Here from the thermodynamics classical thermodynamics we get del G equal to minus W prime and from electrical work concept we are get this. So, if we combine this we get delta G equal to minus N f del E. Now, in the situation of copper zinc cell, we generated del E equal to 
1.1 volt. So, the total free energy change for the chemical reaction would be nothing but N f into 1.1 volt. So, this is the free energy change that is possible in the system and that free energy change is negative in nature. So, it leads to a formation, it leads to do some electrical work. So, one of the major concept what we are getting is delta G equal to minus N F E this and this del E is termed as E which is nothing but the difference. So, let us stop here, we will continue discussing this particular unique relation in our subsequent lectures. Thank you.